Hello, I'm David Kerr and you're watching Shalom World News. Here's your latest news headlines from around the globe. The founder of the Knights of Columbus, Father Michael McGivney, is to become Blessed Michael McGivney. That's after the Vatican this week announced its approval for his beatification. The move follows the authentication of a miracle attributed to the 19th century American cleric involving the healing of an unborn baby from a life-threatening condition back in 2015. For beatification, the Vatican usually requires proof of a miracle attributed to the candidate's intercession unless that person was martyred for his or her faith. Father Michael McGivney founded the Knights of Columbus in New Haven, Connecticut in 1882. He did so along with a small group of laymen in order to strengthen their Catholic faith and to help poor families overwhelmed by illness or the death of their breadwinner. The organisation is now the largest Catholic layman's organisation in the world. The date for Father McGivney's beatification ceremony is yet to be announced. Meanwhile, the Vatican has also given approval for the canonisation of Blessed Charles de Foucault, a French hermit who was martyred in North Africa in 1916. Blessed Charles was beatified by Pope Benedict XVI in 2005. Now the Vatican has paved the way for him to be declared a saint. Again, no date for the canonisation ceremony has been announced. Hungary has voted to stop people being able to alter how their gender is legally registered in what's been seen as a significant blow to the LGBT movement. The Hungarian National Assembly voted to define the term gender as sex at birth as registered on a birth certificate. The new law also states that a person's gender corresponds to their biological sex determined by primary sex characteristics and chromosomes. The legislation was passed by 133 votes to 57. That's a majority of 76. The Catholic Church in Mexico is welcoming new educational reforms in the northern state of Nuevo León that will teach pro-life values at all stages of schooling. Last week saw the region's local congress approve a new law that says the state should provide education that develops solidarity attitudes in individuals that create an awareness about respect for life from conception to natural death. In response, the local Archdiocese of Zalapa is describing the reform as a very important step in the culture of life. Meanwhile, in the US, the Bishop of Tyler in Texas says any politician who promotes abortion is, quote, not acceptable for leadership in our society. Bishop Joseph Strickland made his comments on his official blog as part of a series of articles entitled Morally Coherent Catholic Citizenship where he looks ahead to this year's US elections. Bishop Strickland describes the right to life as the preeminent moral mandate through which every political, cultural, social and economic issue should be assessed. He recognises that such a position eliminates a vast number of potential leaders from the consideration of Catholic voters, but urges the lay faithful to hold firm and do all they can to support political leaders who respect and protect the right to life of the unborn. The Irish bishops are to draw up a framework document which they hope will hasten the resumption of public masses across the island of Ireland. The details of the bishops' plans were announced this week by Archbishop Eamon Martin of Armagh, Primate of All Ireland. At present, the government of the Republic of Ireland doesn't intend to permit public masses until July the 20th, while there are presently no plans in place to resume public masses in Northern Ireland. Archbishop Martin says he hopes the creation of a framework document will provide best practice guidelines for resuming public masses in both North and Southern Ireland. Finally to Australia, where Bishop Mark Edwards of Melbourne has been appointed the new Bishop of the Diocese of Wagga Wagga. The Diocese of Wagga Wagga is located in rural New South Wales. It's been without a bishop for the past four years since the previous incumbent, Bishop Gerard Hanna, retired in September 2016 due to ill health. Now he will be replaced by Bishop Edwards, who has been an auxiliary bishop in the Archdiocese of Melbourne for the past six years. The 60-year-old is a member of the Missionary Oblates of Mary Immaculate. Prior to becoming a bishop, he taught in schools and seminaries. Bishop Edwards has described his new appointment as a call from God to be a disciple, brother and bishop to the Catholics of Wagga Wagga. Congratulations, Bishop Edwards. Well, that's all for now. Do join me next time in Shalom World News for more headlines from around the globe. 
Until then, may God bless you. Shalom.